Hello everybody, welcome to the GTX 8800 GTS disassembly. Yeah, th this card came out back in 2007. I don't know why, but I really like just seeing old cards. These 12 screws are just for the GPU core alone, just to get a good mount. The, just the biggest screws across alone is 81 and a half millimeters. All right, all the big screws are out. All these small screws also help with retention, as I mentioned earlier. So these ones need to come out as well. Now, here's a good time to mention. You should always track your screws on, like, uh, a mod mat or something. Get a whiteboard and just mark where the screws go. Track your screws just to make sure that the similar-looking screws have similar lengths and widths. Yes, I should mention that this is the Elite Group model. I'm not sure if this uses the the reference PCB. I didn't see anything on Tech Power Up about it, actually. Don't even know who Elite Group is. Never even heard of them. Uh, well, let's just see. All, right, all the screws on the back have been taken out. Okay. Well, it's really nice to know that these fan cables aren't actually that terrible. They really just pull out. Again, I'll pull on the housing, not the individual wires, because you can pull them out of the housing, and that's just going to create a mess. For power, this GPU uses 6-pin supplemental power and power coming out of the PCIe slot. Those screws were for the shroud, not even the cooler. Okay, well, that's nice. I believe the uh, screws for the DVI will have to come out too, and also these two screws as well. This is why, when you try to disassemble something, you never have expectations. I I'm just glad it's not modern video cards trying to hide the screws for some reason. Alright, and that is the backplate taken off. Hooray. Yes, so this, this cooler, of course, has a blower style fan. So, your intake's here, and then it blows across the fans for the heatsink, and blows out of the case. So, uh-huh. Uh, I'm very glad that modern cars don't have blower style type cooler. Because they should, they, they, blower cards could never cool 600 watts of, of output of w about what a 4090 can put out at, and stop power levels. I don't even know I was trying to take the shroud off. Uh, yeah, no, you don't need to take the shroud off to get this card disassembled fully. But yeah, there is a massive die. Holy crap. Yeah, there's a heat spreader on this. So this isn't actually just, okay, I mean, okay, apparently we didn't need to take those these nine screws out because this is just i don't even know what this is what is this all right we got this plate don't know exactly what it's for it has plastic on underneath so it doesn't short out anything um yeah i mean you don't we don't see the die since there's a heat spreader for some reason don't know why nvidia did this back then but yep look at that magnificent heat spreader not a die Yes, indeed, this is the G G80 die. I believe A2 is the revision. Not sure what K2 is, and 100. Maybe another revision number, not exactly sure. Uh, and this chip down here, I'm not exactly sure. This is capturing the diffusion layer, too. Um, I mean, the heat the heat sink, the heat spreader doesn't really matter in this instance because it is as, as thick as the diffusion layer. It is 427 millimeters by, yeah, 427. Hey, SLI, remember those days of awful performance yeah i don't even know if this chip is down here is it for the pcie slot oh wait is this okay it's next to the outputs i wonder is there any markings on that it has its own thermal pad so it's probably important in some way shape or form i'm not sure my eyes are too, too terrible to read that um not sure exactly could you guys please educate me on that of whatever the ship is um yeah uh, other things. Well, there's the, uh, probably three-phase VRM. Yeah, the three-phase VRM, this is probably VRM for the memory modules. This thing draws, like, 135 watts, so no, you don't need a fancy VRM. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the disassembly. Remember, disassembly, reassembly is the opposite of disassembly, so... It would be kind of boring to take you guys through that process, too, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something along the way. Um... I love if you guys would educate me on whatever this ship is over here. It has something to do with the I.O. It w with the outputs, I'm sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Amazing rest of you guys' day or night. And yes, subscribe if you haven't today. And yes, love you guys. Farewell and goodbye.